To I Team 8 now and police arresting a 17 year old for a shooting that sent another teen to the hospital. Police say that teen is now in good condition. Police say two cars loaded with boys got into an argument on Main Street in Plainfield. They say that argument led to gunfire. Our senior investigative reporter Richard Essex just, uh, just got back from Plainfield with the story. My husband and I, Roy, were inside watching the basketball game, and I heard a sound, and it sounded like shots. Cindy Simmons did hear shots fired. According to police, the shots she heard were fired in the street right behind her house. And within minutes, the street was bathed in the glow of police lights. And then all of a sudden, there were policemen coming in, sirens, and I looked out, and I said, it's right here. And... um there were cops everywhere, lights flashing. They had the road up there closed. Plainfield police say the incident started along East Main Street when three juveniles riding in a Kia Optima exchanged words with three or four juveniles in a silver Dodge Charger. The two cars eventually made their way to this subdivision right behind Simmons' house. Police say the driver of the Dodge pulled a gun and fired multiple shots into the open window of the Kia. Police say the driver of the Dodge is wanted for questioning. We do have information that possibly that the Charger has front-end damage and that it also has a spoiler. But Police have not identified the gender of everyone involved. However, we are told that two of the shots fired at the Kia hit a juvenile boy sitting in the back seat. He was taken to Eskenazi Hospital and police say at last check he's out of surgery and in stable condition. Simmons and her husband have lived in this house for decades. She isn't about to pack up and move, but she certainly isn't happy with the crime and violence that's creeping into Hendricks County. But yeah, it makes me uneasy. In Plainfield, Richard Essex, Wish TV, IT Mate.